After a political saga and three years of intense construction, Mexico City has a new airport. Felipe Angeles International is a two-hour drive from the capital and will handle, for now, fewer than 10 passenger flights a day. Nevertheless, President López Obrador's flagship project was the subject of a grand inauguration on Monday, planned to coincide with the Benito Juárez Day national holiday. We are dedicated heart and soul to the transformation of Mexico. We care a lot about the people, especially the poor, and this here is that transformation. Mexico City's aging Benito Juarez International is badly in need of an upgrade, but a partially completed multi-billion dollar project to turn Mexico City into a Western Hemisphere travel hub was scrapped by López Obrador when he took office in 2018. In the capital, reactions to the president's alternative, built on an existing military airbase, have been mixed. The new airport they were building before, that was going to be a travel hub, but not this one. I'll avoid going if I can. It's more than three hours from where I live, and the money and time I'll spend getting there will be too much. It makes me proud to see projects like this because it shows my country is progressing. I live close to the new airport, so it will be a good travel option, as well as bringing more business and tourism to the region. Totally, totally. That's why Arturo Erdeli, a political analyst, sees the new airport more as a show of political might, rather than a piece of infrastructure which will truly serve the country's travel needs. Uh, the Mexico's uh, president's obsession with history uh, it can be seen in everything he does. He, that's why he pick, picked up this day, the uh, Benito Juarez day. He picked up a name, Felipe Angeles, which was a general from the Mexican Revolution. I mean, as more sim uh, historical symbols rather than practical uh, solutions for uh, the, the nation's needs. The new airport's officials say they expect flights to the U.S. to begin operating in the second half of this year, though as of now, no firm deals have been announced. Whether the new installation will be viewed as attractive to private airlines remains to be seen. Alastair Bavastok, CGTN, Mexico City.